The campaign to recall Representative Inman is now gathering petition signatures. Inman, who represents Grand Traverse County in Lansing, is currently facing federal charges. He's accused of trying to sell his vote and lying to the FBI. The recall Inman campaign is trying to collect 12,000 signatures to remove him from office. Representative Inman has denied any wrongdoing and now his attorney is pushing back against the petition. He says it violates his client's rights to an impartial jury while his federal case is still pending. From Northern Michigan's news leader, this is Michigan This Morning on Local 32. Good morning, Northern Michigan. Ooh, taking a beautiful look in Charlevoix, seeing some fall colors come mm. through. It is 7.59 on your Monday we morning. We are drawing closer to that peak yes. for our fall colors. Yeah, I would yeah. say probably, I already saw some falling in the Asabo mm -hmm. Valley this morning, or this this morning, this weekend. Right. I drove over from, through the Asabo <laughs> Valley this morning and made a trip over and back. Um, no, this uh, weekend, I, a lot of bright reds, some yellows, um, UP also starting to get near peak. I think um, with all the sunshine this week, probably see them start to pop. Yeah. yeah it's, the only problem okay. is it's not going to be cold. Right. Um, so it might prolong the color pop until this weekend okay. when it gets colder. Well, it's cold and rainy. Yeah, cold and rainy <laughs> is when you really see the pop start, That's start to That's what all the color tour people really want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Cold and rainy yeah. when you want to come see it. Um, but yeah, yeah, middle of the month, late of the month, I think that's when you're going to see perfect conditions. Mm -hmm. Next weekend, weekend after, that's when you're going to start to see some beautiful colors across much of Michigan. But taking a look at what we have wind speed wise at the moment, uh, right around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So very windy conditions and that's going to continue to be the case throughout today. Mainly out of the west southwest this morning, 10 to 20. Mainly out of the west northwest this afternoon and evening at about 10 to 20. But uh, with your breezy winds, we also have some warmer temperatures. Right now we're in the mid 40s to so even a few mid 50s. But uh, today you'll actually be pretty decent with mid 50s to low 60s. So a little bit above average across northern Michigan today. But with a little bit of a disturbance over Lake Superior, that could bring a passing shower in the UP here right around midday, early afternoon. Lower Peninsula, you should have plenty of sunshine for much of today. And really going to be a beautiful week ahead for us. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, majority of us will have plenty of sunshine. By Friday and into the weekend though, things start to change up uh, quite a bit as we go from 60s and 70s to 40s in a matter of about 12 hours. Uh, more details on that coming up in just a bit. 
We are continuing to follow, to follow developing news this morning. U.S.-backed forces in Syria say American troops have begun leaving areas along the Turkish border. It comes just hours after the White House confirmed U.S. forces in northeastern Syria will clear the way for an expected Turkish assault. The move is a major blow to our Kurdish allies who have fought alongside U.S. forces for years to defeat the Islamic State. Turkey has threatened for months to launch a military operation to drive away Syrian Kurdish fighters from the border. Republicans and Democrats have shown concern over allowing the Turks to attack Kurdish fighters. They believe it would send a troubling message to American allies around the world. The wheels are officially turning in the effort to kick Representative Larry Inman out of office. The campaign to recall Representative Inman is now gathering petition signatures. Inman, who represents Grand Traverse County in Lansing, is currently facing federal charges. He's accused of trying to sell his vote and then lying to the FBI. The recall Inman campaign is trying to collect 12,000 signatures to remove him from office. Representative Inman has denied any wrongdoing, and now his attorney is pushing back against the petition. He says it violates his client's right to an impartial jury while his federal case is still pending. The city of Clare is holding a public hearing today to answer questions about its plans to address lead tainted water in the city. City health officials say dangerous levels of lead were found in drinking water coming from water lines in downtown Clare. So far, the elevated lead levels have only been found at two businesses. The city manager says all other water is safe to drink. City officials are now working on a plan to replace the lead pipes at the center of the problem. They're holding a hearing to discuss the issue today at 6 p.m. at the here Marquette District Library. We're learning new information this morning about a fire in Sheboygan County. This is an update to a story 9 and 10 news first brought to you last night at 11. Viewers in Tapanubi sent us these pictures from the scene last night at the Mullet Township fire dump. You can see thick, dark smoke billowing into the sky from the junkyard. According to the Tapanubi Fire Department's Facebook page, fire crews arrived to find a pile of between 500 and 1,000 tires on fire. They credit a quick response and teamwork to to keep the flames under control. It's not clear right now what started the fire or if anyone is hurt. Stay with Northern Michigan's news leader as we continue working to get the latest details.